All right, what's up, everybody? Today we have way too many deals. It's too many to fit in this video, to be honest with you. I might try to pick back up tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, join that for more deals and advice on what tools you should buy. So anyway, let's go ahead and start at Home Depot because it's just too much. All right, so I'll leave direct links to all of the Father's Day deals. As we can see over here, there's 1,025 results. And that's just all for tools. So the way I have everything sorted right now is from, from price low to high. So there are quite a few deals. I was saving them as I was going, but again, it started just getting out of hand. So let's just start where we are with these Husky pry bars. I do hear that they chip a little bit, but from my experience, the Milwaukee's chip too. And these are only twenty nine ninety seven. Heart, the heart, you know, the heart brand has a set that comes with four in a pack over at Walmart and sometimes those are on sale, but they're not right now. They're like fifty dollars. So here you go, lifetime warranty. If you have any issues, they do chip or whatever. You just take it right on into Home Depot and get another one. Um, also, beside it, we do have this rigid. Um, it goes to their Pro Tool storage system. So they have the. Do I have that one? No, I had the Milwaukee version of this one. But you know, with the clear tops for all your little organizers and screws and whatnot. Uh, that's $29 uh, and you don't necessarily need the Pro Tool store system to just buy this you know it, this is a good standalone uh, box they also have another box for sale let's just kind of go through this real quick I'm not going to go through this because I didn't go through it earlier so I might miss something you say oh, well you passed that that was a good deal my bad you see I'm on page five I was I've been ripping and running through these things all right so here we go and I didn't save this for some odd reason I'm glad I found it you have the other organizer. This is $25. Now, let me tell you. So it has uh, in the middle, you know, a, a big gaping space for whatever, for tools or whatever. And on the sides, it has little trays, uh, six total, three on each side, just like the last one we looked at. And all the stores in the middle. What I do, I have my cameras in here. And I'm able to fit two SLRs and two... Uh, Micro Four Thirds camera. So I have two Olympus cameras in here, and I have two Canons in here. I have a um, Canon 7D Mark II in there, and I have a Canon 70D and two Olympus cameras in there. Plus, I have I keep all the batteries, I keep all the memory cards, I keep the cords. It fits a lot in this little box. It's an excellent box by itself. And to me, while it doesn't quite replace a Pelican, it's not on that Pelican level. It also ain't three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, twenty five dollars. This thing will float in water, as I've shown in this video. It, if I forget the link, it it might be in the description, because by the time I edit these videos, I forget all about adding those links. But um, it'll float. It's IP six five rated. Actually, it's not. Actually, you know, it's officially not rated that. But I've done the test, and it is pre uh, repelled water better than the Milwaukee in some tests and better than the DeWalt's in some tests. So I have my cameras in there and I trust my cameras in there. So anyway, that's that. Um, you know, again, I just got to go through the links and just kind of <laughs> leave it for you guys to look at. And I saved a lot of them, but for some reason they're not saved. Like these, this Klein, uh, two pit, two piece, uh, screwdrivers set that I saved that it's $27. Uh, that didn't pop up. Uh, and that's normally a lot more expensive. Um, it's so much, y'all. I can't go through all these pages. It's just so much. Uh, so what I want to do, and see, look, there is a Husky ratcheting set on sale for $59. I used that as a comparison for the gear wrench sale from like a week ago. And uh, I think it was like $80. But it's on sale now for $59. This is the regular set, though. This is just non-ratcheting. It's $20. But they do have the rationing one for 59 I just haven't gotten that high up in price yet. <laughs> the way I have this organized. And there's no power tools. This is all hand tools for the most part. But I do want to go and bring you guys' attention to the very first deal. So there's this Extreme Power US. I mean, it's probably some cheap Chinese knockoff brand. I don't know. But they do have this three-piece SDS Plus uh masonry rotary set so you have the the chisel and then you have the scrapers five dollars and eighty cents yeah 
like, hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm testing the waters with that. That's like that's like a dollar eighty a piece. Yeah, I would I would try that. So anyway, I'm gonna have individual links to that stuff. And then again, I'm just gonna have a link to all this stuff. You can go through. You got these Bessie clamps for fifteen dollars. You got these wire strippers for fifteen dollars. These flush cutters for twelve dollars. You know, it's a lot going on at Home Depot right now. We didn't even get into the power tools. I'll try to segue into that tomorrow. So going over to Direct Tools, I was like, let me see what Direct Tools is doing. A whole lot. That's what, <laughs> that's what they're doing. A whole lot. It's too much over here. You see all these tabs? I, I, I And that's just in the middle. Like, I'm not even done. I haven't even gone through all these things. Look at this heater. That's only 17% off. Uh, is that the end? Okay, finally. I just reached the end. So I got to go all the way back to the top. I went through all those deals for y'all twice. All right, look. We're going to start off with uh, th these, okay? If you buy this, if you go through the, th the list yourself, if you buy these, um, excuse me, if you go through the list yourself and you'll see that these are separate, you know, you don't get the case, but they'll have the hammer drill with the battery and a charger for $69 or $70. And you have the impact driver with the battery and a charger for $70. You say, man, if I just buy them individually, that's $140. I say $10. Yes. And, and you get an extra charger, but you're missing a case. But if you don't need the case, that might look like a super sweet deal. The thing is, it comes with different batteries, though. It does not come with the new high output batteries. So trust me, for an extra $10, this is what you want. So I just want to make you aware of that because it 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 can trick you because it's so much to look at. Uh, I've reviewed this Ryobi light. I'll try to remember to leave a link to that. I need to just keep a notepad. That's what I need to do. That would be smart. Um, $69.99, that's a good deal. For $120, I felt like it was a compelling price, but you could routinely find the Milwaukee M12 with a battery you know, on a hack deal. Uh, or just sometimes on sale for like one around 120. That's how much I paid for it. Or well, I think I paid a hundred dollars for it. But seventy dollars, this is a good light, and I like that it's a hybrid system. You can plug it in, but so is the Mil Milwaukee's lights too, though. You can plug those in, but you never get an M12 for seventy dollars. That's just not happening unless you're buying it on the street or something. So that's good. Uh, I'll go and, you know, watch the video if you want the full comparison because it is a different color light, which makes a difference. But it is very bright. It's brighter than the Milwaukee, but it, does, it produces a different color light. And it's real clunky to use. It's funky to use. And these legs stick out real far and random. It's a little funny, but $70 is not bad. Uh, you have this lawnmower. This is the one I have, and it's an older model. They do have newer models out, but this is still very good. I mean, I'm kind of like, man, if it ain't broke, shoot, don't fit, you know, don't it don't need fixing. So, uh, two hundred dollars, I think I pay, I pay a little more than that for mine, um, and this has been rocking out pretty good. This does look to be a slightly different. Like this is on mine. This is not tenant, which probably helps the battery. It keeps cool, the battery cooler. Mine is completely see through and it's a slightly different shape. Uh, and it's more enclosed, which, you know, makes the battery wear down faster. I can assure you that. I can tell you that from experience. The uh, warmer that battery gets, the you know, it doesn't hold the charge as long. But anyway, that's one. It's good. One ninety nine, and I believe that they will. They'll ship to home. So there you go. Now you're going to need a second battery. Forty dollars. I don't usually buy batteries, but I buy this. This is normally one forty for real. It's a whole hundred dollars off. Can't beat that. Okay. Now, you can beat it with a stick, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, I paid $60 for this attachment, and it was totally worth it to me. I, I was dancing. I thought I got, I, I mean, I knew it was regular price, but I didn't think, you know, I was dancing. I thought it was a good deal. I couldn't believe it, you know, just about the attachment. And now I see it for $20. You know, I want to punch myself in the gut, but that's okay. That was two years ago. That's a side. But this thing works really good. $19. You got to buy the other kit, though. Uh, you know, look, here's a cultivator. I'm very tempted to get this, but, you know, I'm not growing any garden, so why am I doing that? But $70 for this cultivator. I would say I think it's normally like $100, 110 at Home Depot. You have this adhesive caulk gun from Rigid. I have the Milwaukee M12 version. 
seventy dollars. I didn't pay seventy dollars for that thing. I paid like a hundred and something dollars. Maybe I did get it for like on a little hack deal, like eighty dollars or something like that. But you know, now they have this pole saw, ten inch pole saw, and it is uh, a forty volt. If I recall correctly, I know the little ones people were saying were flimsy was the 18 volt, and they do have the 18 volt. I don't know about this one. I just have this here because I gotta look that up. But pole saws are generally very expensive for so seventy dollars, and I have some branches that need to be cut. I I, I'm, I might indulge myself. And don't forget that with Direct Tools, um, it's twelve dollars or thirteen dollars shipping. So you know you you need to keep that in mind don't do what i did the last time i shopped here bought some was like man let me go back and go get the other stuff and i had to pay the extra shipping again so and they will not call it and combine they'll just say cancel them and then rebound but then the deal is over you know so then you have this shop back i don't know if it's any good but you know 40 dollars. if you have experience with it let us know whether it's really good or not um it's 40 uh and then <laughs> Yeah, you know, sometimes stuff Brian will be so just be so cheap, man. It's like how can this really be be any good? And in the picture it has a, a the two amp hour battery, but it says it's not included. But it's in the picture. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised because they have their stuff all messed up and wonky over there that if they sent this, it'll come with a little cheap two amp hour battery. Uh this probably works good. It's not rocket science to these tools, you know what I mean? So and here's looks like you're a dial adjuster over on the side which I kind of like this visual aid, honestly, $20. So we'll go over to Home Depot deals tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. See you guys next time.